huge. Look at this one. That one is gorgeous right there. Beautiful gyromitra. And I'm going to come around over here and look at all of these on this side. You got one, two, three, four. These are kind of small. I might leave these and come back in a week or two and that those should be huge. Welcome to Fruitful Mushroom Hunting and uh, uh, today's a beautiful day. We're up in the high Uinas, I will say that for this video. And today we are looking for Gyromitra, Montana. And at the end of the day, we're hoping to maybe find it somewhere else. Gonna check a, an area that I haven't searched before, but I, it looks like it, they probably should be there. And uh, so let's get started with this video. So in today's video, we are looking in an area uh, for the Gyromitra, Montana's. They are a snowbank mushroom. You can see we're, we're right next to snow right here. And there's patches of it all over the place that are here. And on, and with today's adventure, I've actually brought a few people with me. These are people that are sus subscribers on the channel that we end up bringing. Tell me your names. Chris. Mika. Robbie. All right, and you guys have been watching Utah Mushroom Hunter? Oh, yeah. Bailey. Bailey. Have you guys watched some of the videos? Yeah, yeah. tons. We're, this is a dream come true. <laughs> have they been helpful to you? Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. We, I feel like we've been hot on their trail. Yeah. <laughs> We're new to it, so. All right. And I, and I am making an effort trying to get more of the viewers, subscribers on some of my mushroom hunts. So this is one. And I just want to show you our first gyromitra that we found today. And here it is. So the gyromitra Montana, um, you can see how bright orange that is. And um, it is a considered a false morel. And these are toxic if you try to eat them raw so don't don't ever try to eat one of these raw um however this is a choice edible as long as you cook it thoroughly in fact this is one of my favorite mushrooms uh absolutely love the gyromitra montana and so we're hoping to find a bunch more of these today but here's our first one for the day <laughs> okay so here's that gyromitra montana and one of the ways that you know you've got the gyromitra montana is the way that the stem looks the the Gyromitra Escalante will be hollow, a lot more similar to what a, a morel is like, whereas this one here is completely filled with folds and so forth, and, and that's what the uh, Montana is. But you gotta have that color too, that color is super important. Make sure you have it properly identified before you consume one of these. And, and again, make sure you cook it thoroughly. Here's a little uh, pizzazzi. This is uh, uh, considered a snowbake mushroom as well. And uh, they pop up in the same areas as these gyromitra. And even morels, they pop up a little bit early just before the morels pop up. Uh, but that's a good indication that the mushrooms are liking this area. All right, so we're finding all kinds of mushrooms. Not a, uh, there's a bunch that we're finding that aren't edible, but look what we came across right here. There's a little puff ball right there. And look at this one over here. That is a fun little puff ball. So that'll, that should be a choice edible. We'll cut it in half to make sure it's what we think it is, but that looks like a great edible. Okay, so we cut this thing in half and that's what it looks like. You can see, you can see it's pure white in there. And this isn't my favorite kind of puff ball, but this uh, still should be a yummy puff ball. All right, so we're just searching this area through here. It's kind of a flat area. You can see there's a lot of moisture from the runoff, and here is another Gyromitra Montana. There's another one. Looks really good. And there's another. There's two right in this area. How about that? It's young, but that is a Gyromitra Montana. So I just found this one right over there. Here's one right here. Now look through here. You might want to get your wife for this, because this is fun. Look at this one. That one is gorgeous right there. Beautiful Gyromitra. 
and I'm going to come around over here and look at all of these on this side. You got one, two, three, four. These are kind of small. I might leave these and come back in a week or two and that those should be huge. But that is fun. So I'm thinking if we keep looking in this area, we'll find more. This, these are fun. Look at those. All uh, Valley of the Streets. All right, so here's the area I'm looking, and I just found another beautiful Gyromitra Montana right there. Look how fun that is. Look how big that is. That is going to be delicious. Beautiful Gyromitra Montana. So this is the area I'm looking in right here now. They seem to like these trees. Right through here. Oh, oh, look at that one. Oh my gosh. That one is gorgeous. Look at that one. Beautiful. Look at that one I just found. That's a gorgeous Gyromitra Montana. Oh, these are fun to find. These are so yummy too. There's another one there. And another one there. We're finding so many of them. <laughs> all right. Did you find one? What did you find? You found one? There he is. Nice find. Look at that. There's a couple more. Is there more close by? Mom! Mom! Look at those ones. Look at those. Look, I get this one. That's better. Oh, smart. This is us looking for mushrooms. How look how fun this is. This is so fun. It's always fun to find a mushroom, but it's always fun just to hang out with good people too. Here's another nice little guy from Mitra, Montana. And right over here, you got one right there and right there. So if we come back in a week or two, these should be nice and big. All right, there's a nice size one. That one's softball size. Beautiful Gyromitra. Okay, so look at my hat here. These are all the mosquitoes that are trying to get me. I've gone down to, into a little bit lower elevation. And I've got mosquitoes like crazy. I'm gonna, I think I got some mosquito spray in my bag I'm gonna pull out. But while I'm sitting here thinking about all these mosquitoes, look down and look what I found. This is the same day we're looking for Gyromitra Montana. We went down to a lower elevation and we found a, a morel mushroom. So this, uh, I won't say exactly where we are, but we are uh, in the, I'll say we're in the Camas area, all right? Um, uh, and that's the general elevation you're going to be finding morels at right now, especially the yellow morels. But we're at the end of the season. This is an older morel. You can see that it is older, but it is a morel. So we're going to look and see if we can find a couple more here. All right, so there's another morel. This is our second morel that we found in this area. And I wish I had more time. I, it's time for me to leave. And, uh, uh, but we're just starting to find a few here. Here looking and, and Zeta is an expert morel hunter and Zeta can you show us what you just found? Look at what she found. She found this one all by herself. This is the third one My we found in this area. Oh. She helped me find it. And uh, what kind of mushroom is it? Morel. A morel. And do you have a book about morels? It's about mushrooms. That, that is awesome. She is a diehard mushroom hunter. That is so fun. Good job finding that morel. All right, look at that. That's the one that we just shot, uh, shot in the video a second ago. He's cleaning it up. It's a nice size morel. So you got two of them there, right? Yeah. yeah. Looking good. And here's our third one right there that we found. All right, look at this one that we just found. This is Chris right here. He's He's with us and he just found this one. It's a beauty. Look at that, a good size morel. Yellow morel. Nice find. And there's another one. So I think we're up to 
to five more elves we found in this area. This is a brand new area for me too. I've never searched in this area. Thanks for watching Fruitful Mushroom, Mushroom Hunter. And I think that we're gonna call this the end of the day, at least for me. These guys are gonna keep looking. I've gotta run off. I've got some commitments I've gotta to go to. Uh, we end up with five more elves out of this spot. So today was an amazing day. We actually found a whole bunch of, of the uh, Gyromitra Montana. I mean, if you count all the small ones and the ones we left, we probably found 50 of them. I mean, it was a lot of Gyromitra Montana that we found. And and these morels that are, it's kind of the, close to the end of the season here. I think we're 6,200 feet or something like that, uh, something close to that. But uh, these these morels uh, are close to the end of the season here. The, uh, there's probably not going to be any more that grow in this spot this year. But it's a new spot for us. Uh, I've I've never searched this area before. I've never found them here before. And uh, I just driving by, looking at it, thinking there there may be some. So we stopped. And we looked in this area and we found some. So we're super excited about that. But you guys, thank you so much. You guys have fun. Yes. Oh, yeah. It was a fun. Right. The mushroom yeah. maestro. <laughs> it was definitely fun. So thank you guys so much. Oh, and, and Zeta here, she was amazing too. She found some really good mushrooms. Zeta, you wanna, you wanna show the mushroom that you found? Yeah. Oh, found her thumb. There it is. She's got it. <laughs> she has got it on her thumb. And she's going to take that home and eat that. <laughs> well, well, thanks guys so much. And thanks for watching this episode. And we'll see you in the next episode.